welcome to the ULR Podcast, the podcast where I cannot get this shit right. <laughs> but in the meantime, I'm right. And it's Chris. Morris. And Maury is right there, and we're ready to kick that shit finally. We got these topics, we got these punishments, and let's do it. All right, so uh, what I had saw on, on Twitter, which caught my eye, was from old Donald Trump himself. You know, he stay popping on the Twitter with the Twitter figures. But he brought up the, uh, the 1619 project. And, the, and if any school district had adopted uh, implementing this project, that they were going to lose funding. So I was like, man, what project got... The president out here threatening school districts. So I, you know, I went to Google and looked it up. <laughs> oh, the project about slavery? The project about black people is the one that got him threatening <laughs> to take money away from educators. American slavery. Yes. So yeah, black apparently uh, the 1619 project is a project uh, brought forth by some, I, I don't know if she's a journalist or or what, from the working right, with the so New the York. So the 1619 project, this is just right off their little website. It's an ongoing initiative from the New York Times Magazine that began in 2019 of August, the, the 400th anniversary of the beginning of American slavery. So this is when the first ships first hit the, uh, the coast and first uh, yeah, slaves walked off. Slavery was not, I mean, it wasn't like we got here and then there were slaves. It was like, no, we brought them and... They helped us but we talk this country when it got yeah. to the coast. This is that's when that's the 400th anniversary that mm -hmm. they're that they're referring 400 to. Years old. That's what I think. What I'm saying is that 400 is longer than more people would even know. Yeah, well, I'm not saying that 400 was the first slaves. This is when they came to America. When they came to America, that's what I'm talking about. That's yeah. Okay. So uh, the initiative is to reframe the country's history. All right. So it's going to be like re refocusing the history program specifically okay. to place. So it's going to look with the to at the consequences of slavery and the contributions of Black Americans at the very center of our nation's uh, narrative. So no longer would it just be Christopher Columbus showed up no. and, uh, <laughs> with every invention under under right the now. under the now now when we were in school now we had a whole day off like, because of him. Yeah, now well, yeah, I'll right. take that. That day off is wonderful. <laughs> That's what we had. <laughs> Now, but now we need we need not but just Chris Columbus. I would say though. maybe in the last three to five years, right? Yeah, he's taking heat. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah Thanksgiving taking alone has taken heat. Mm -hmm. Like people ain't for me personally. I don't know about anybody else, but for me, seeing it come up in the last three years, absolutely deniable. In the last five years, questionably deniable. Where you didn't understand, like you get you get taught that. You know, in 1492, Columbus sailed the ocean blue. Yeah, I already and said I, that they yeah, day like, pound in a shit. And the same thing. Uh, I could move on to the other shit that we've learned by rote, but I won't. But th so that's what the initiative is, right? So it's taking those, all those events that have been framed a certain way that kind of lifts up white society. You know, I'm not saying that even this program is built to bring them down, but it is shedding truth to the atrocities that have been played out in this country, you know? So if we're saying that uh, that slavery, that b these men and women were berated and, mm -hmm. and denigrated and tortured mm -hmm. under white rule well, and then put into a free society, we got to look at the what, what happened in within that mixing of people, right? We got people that went from being in power to being on the same level. Like, that doesn't happen overnight. There's consequences no. in that. Go ahead. Uh, and something I'm going to point out, I think that Maury would agree with is that Fuck, man. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Uh, dang. Oh, okay. man. Hey, look, go, going to school back then, back in the day, back in uh -huh. the day, we old niggas and shit, but going to school. <laughs> I'm back now. Okay, I'll, I'll talk after Murray. I'll talk. I'll call. Go ahead. Go ahead. We, at, at the high school, like, man, this, they, these niggas ain't told the truth on some of the shit that happened in the history class. This is not How much did you learn on your own compared no, to? No, go yeah, like they, not, uh, none of that shit happened like they like they said in history. So well, here's, here's what exists. Here's what exists. We have, we have history. We have history of this yeah. stuff. Mm -hmm. We have history of the ugliest shit that has happened to us. We have all that written documents. You, we have okay. If we didn't have Video. anything else, if we didn't have anything else, we have Jim Crow laws, actual laws, Jim Crow laws. You could look those up online right now, and and ninety eight percent of it would be what Jim Crow wrote. The other two percent would be what psycho ass white supremacists wrote. But ninety eight percent of it, if you went and you look for Jim Crow laws, you probably find just what Jim Crow wrote. And that stuff was just 
scientific breakdown of how to to break down a human being and it was it was pointed at us Mm -hmm. that's just one thing that i can think of personally as a human being as a black person i can't think of all the other times i can't think of everything that that was done to hold us back that all that stuff is in the records Mm -hmm. now the moment that you decide to teach people about every instance where not only where black people were held back, but all people of any color that was not white, white, mm. white, not pink, mm. not red. <laughs> we gonna talk, like, let's talk about the color of the white people. But yeah, we talking about all, colors, right? All the colors that were not white uh, that were held back, so that you know they could not get ahead of you. There's so many. There's so many instances. There are so many things that happen that if we were to base a history on that, everything, so much stuff would crumble. Not what America was made of, because our principles uh, as Americans don't crumble under that. What crumbles is the system that they built inside of that. Mm-hmm. That's what crumbles. Mm-hmm. That's what falls apart. The uh, the minute that you realize that, oh, our system doesn't depend on you as a white person, our system depends on everybody else. The people and the yeah. belief in it. Yeah. Belief. Exactly. Mm. So that's the whole issue with 1619. That was what I was trying to bring up. I did get very wordy on there, but I think that it was worth it just to say that, yeah, the 1619 is that there's a, there's a, what's the word? There's a, there's oh, just, <laughs> I mean, if you let, there's a domino effect. There you go. There's a domino effect. If you allow somebody to learn all the ways that, you know, American history went wrong, you're going to find that most of American history was wrong and that only in the bullet points were they right. Yeah. And, and that's, that's a deeper, like, so are we either, either not, not unveiling those truths means we're okay with being wrong. Like I think, I, I think as Americans, we would want the truth to be available. But uh, the, there's a lot of opposition to this 1619 thing, and and it's really about, and we talked about image a little bit earlier about in, in a subject that didn't even get recorded back on that topic. But but we talked we we talked about the image of it, and I think the, the people that are opposing it are mad, and it's kind of about the statues being torn down too. Like you, you're tarnishing an image of an America that we have had for so long. That, that not, people are going to find that. But if it's not true, do we want to stand by that image? Can we stand by an image that's not true? Go ahead, Maury. I got something to say I about could. the statue. But ain't true. Maury, God, man. We should have had the facts from the get-go, man. Don't be bullshitting me. Right. I agree. I agree. I what I would say is, hey, you know what? Let's let them protest about the statues that's being torn down. And let's put the yeah. full history of the statue out there. And then let's the let full, everybody the real, the real let's, reason. Let's the real go ahead. Y'all can, y'all can throw a goddamn fit stand at the statue's base mm-hmm. and you know and and set fires or whatever mm-hmm. but like when it's all said and done and everybody does their research into it i don't want to hear your bullshit and this is the thing because now you, it's a great point because we're talking about people like uh jefferson and washington yeah. and, and like founding fathers if we peel they back the layers ideas. they had yeah. great ideas but in practice thomas edison and like mm-hmm. we pull back these these layers and see uh, the slaves they had underneath them and the treatment they had towards these and slaves how many of us and the inventions they took from these slaves and who was related to who <laughs> and where these kids got shipped to the first black like daddies that. right right yeah <laughs> That's, that, I think right. that's a revelation people ain't ready to have. The first black daddy. If they haven't had it already. I mean, we're the white daddies. Yes. I, I don't know. I was I was kind of alarmed. Just, you know. I'm at, not alarmed because. At the opposition. We've been, no, it's, I'm not alarmed because what you see, that that you're drawing attention to is nothing compared to, there, there are hundreds of subjects. There's yeah. so much stuff that's going on. Now we got to go into wider politics. We just have, we have to, and I'm not going to go. You said wider politics? Wider. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I was like, what's wider? going on with the water? <laughs> <laughs> wider, wider, no. Wider, <laughs> wider politics where what you're bringing up is just, it's just a, it's just a slice of a pie. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's it. I can't, I can't sit here and give you a more, 
you know, a, a more thought out conclusion than that. It's just a slice of the pie. What you're, what you're seeing right now, or you can just cut a piece out and throw it in the complaint box with all the rest of it. Yeah, well, there's, there, there's some schools that have been implementing the program already. They've been doing it for a couple months. Man, that's, the good, that's the good part is that the best thing you can do is just move on, period. Right. Yeah, even with the threat of uh, defunding, mm -hmm. uh, they mm -hmm. were still mm -hmm. like, you know, the knowledge needs to be out there. I think the education reform is huge. You know, if, we can, if we can get people that look like us hearing the information that, you know, some of these things that have been happening to you, why you can't figure out some shit in your own life, you go, it's been, it's been planned out this way. That might help a lot of people. I'll give some ridiculous hope that Kamala Harris has been seen, you know, strolling in her suit pants with some chucks on. People like it. <laughs> I, I'm hating yeah, I, this whole race. I understand, bro. but you know what? You're walking out with some chucks on. People just like that image. You know, that's a good image for you to have. It's a good start. Chuck, Trump ain't walking out with some chucks on. You know what happened when Trump walk out with some chucks on? His ass gonna fall. So <laughs> we just gonna take this W. <laughs> yeah, we just gonna take this ankle support W. Kamala walking out with some Chuck Taylors on. Gonna take I, I don't want to but, feel pandered to by by a politician. Oh, either. we're pa the minute. Oh, big time. The minute that Joe Biden got elected for you know this role right. that we had. This role, in, yes, Hollywood. Uh, yeah, we've all been put in play into place that that we have no. There's no one doing it. You know, mm -hmm. whatever. Whatever. I can go into this. You know what? We'll say political shit. When Sherman comes back, me and Sherman will talk about political shit because I know Sherman knows. I know you know. Uh, Maury is yeah. his eyes is glazing over. I'm with my. You I'm, don't I'm, know. I might got a little more than Maury for you. My topic is a 29 year old in North Miami shot and killed his own mother because he was arguing with the, with his mother about orange juice. Um, the remote, the remote, the uh, air conditioning, remote controller, mm -hmm. and the vehicle. Uh, so, he, he shot his mom supposedly six times. He called mm. the cops saying, yeah, I just shot my mom, I killed her. Um, and his excuse was, yeah, man, I just, I just lost my cool, man. I lost it and killed his mom off of orange juice, a air conditioning, remote control, and a vehicle. That is what is going on in America. I mean, it's been happening. This been it got a lot of whoa, stories whoa, whoa, like this. Whoa, 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 whoa. This was so in what's Florida. going on with America this right now? In Florida, Florida man. This was in Florida, Florida. I think you said Miami, right? Miami, yeah, North, North Miami, yeah. The hub. Yeah, I think there is some kind of thing with like Miami no, getting Florida, their, their stories no, out. Florida. Florida's been, been tripping lately, though. Uh, Florida not always lately. Tripping. I was about to say, not <laughs> lately. Florida's a trip. Okay, and then <laughs> another one. Different. We need to point out yeah. that this dude was not black, nor was not black. Dude, this dude was Hispanic. Hispanic guy. Saying that Hispanic people have more, but but what we're saying is that I don't. Think, <laughs> yeah, don't even say it. <laughs> all I'm saying is that <laughs> black people, you do not have a tendency of matricide. Is that what you would call it? Matricide. That's a good word. You pulled out your pocket. But we'll yeah, I'm rock with that word. Me. It means killing your mama. Killing your mama. I don't think that's a thing, and and maybe even with white people, I don't think that's even really a very big thing. Maybe a little bit. I more would. I would, would be just, just, just would do that. I hate to say it, but I, white folks be killing. So I wouldn't be surprised if this story ended up be a white person. But uh, it's not a white person. It's not. You said it was a Latino. Yeah, la la Latino dude. Now they're they're now black all, people love their mama too. I will sometimes. say with that community is that they're just much more, especially in Miami and California, just more diverse. Like, um, I'm in a workplace where I'm not going to hear, for the most part, I'm not going to hear R&B. I'm not going to hear hip hop. I'm not going to hear country. I'm going to hear. I'm like gonna, over the loud. I'm, the, I'm, the, I'm, oh, over the loud yeah. speaker. Yeah, I'm going to hear mariachi music. I'm going to hear all kind of music. And this is not unrealistic. I'm not, I'm not lying at all. Like, I can go to work in a, tomorrow morning. I'm going to go to work. And, and the chances of me hearing, like, like pure, straight-up Mexican music, and there no English that nobody will understand, the chances are really high. The, mm -hmm. They're really high, like, where, where, like, I didn't ask anybody to put on this music, but they're going to play it anyway. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So all I'm saying is that... <laughs> what is you saying? <laughs> Let me bring it back, is that they are heavy in the population that this is something that you should acknowledge and that nobody this, we ain't arguing that we're not arguing that hmm. but that this was the thing where no this was not a black or white 
situation. Mm -hmm. This was a Hispanic situation. I don't, I can't speak to what their problems were. Yeah, my first, my first thought was was this was a, this was a mental situation. Definitely mental. Uh, I don't know if he was diagnosed, but you, you played a little clip earlier and he was talking I think about my point was it was uh, not black. Grandma was was <laughs> or mom was taking care of other kids too that had special needs. Uh-huh. So I'm thinking other dude that son that killed her also has similar problems, yeah. if not diagnosed, yeah. Yeah. still has some kind of fluid mm-hmm. cuckoo's nest type deal. And mm-hmm. and when we talk about that defund the police kind of stuff, like this is money that could have went out to baby help better. And, yeah. and it was such a it to was such help a, non-white people. And this was such a split decision. Who knows if this kind of intervention could have helped at that time? Like she didn't have time to call nine one one. Like her son yeah, just yeah. killed her in the kitchen. Well, before that, I mean, there was there was background. Yeah, lady was saying they had argued a lot. Was abusing yeah. the mom. Yeah. The, the was son, yeah, there was a lot of bad stuff going on before that. You don't know anything that was going on in mm. there, but uh, you know, it was just another just another non-white family. Just yeah. another, like another non-white family, and I think this is where, uh, where Hispanic stuff comes in, is that they, I mean, we have a certain percentage of the population in America, but they got way more. Mm-hmm. They got way more. They got more. Yeah. They got uh, got a lot of shit. Um, I think this was actually my problem that I'll come up with when I'm talking to anybody. I can be talking to you about it. I can be talking to anybody about it, and I'll be like, why are we being so hung up on? And I'll take fire for this right now because it's <laughs> why are we being so hung up on black issues when it's not just black issues? It's not. It's about white people and their supremacy. It's not about black issues. It's about it's about like for us, the things that are happening are happening because of how long we've been here and how we feel like we should be treated. And I think that's a direct result of everything that's happening. Like you get shot up and whatever thing, whatever because you know people disagree like we do know that we've been here for 400 years Mm -hmm. and that we should be treated better i understand that or whatever but that doesn't change the fact that for these 400 years we got somebody that's been saying but i'm sorry i'm assuming that whoever was following me just followed me to the end of that segment that i didn't finish yeah we went deep into this race conversation i don't even know how we got here well it's just important (laughs) because there's more than two races in america what do you talk about race it's not it's not just white and black in america we it kind of is it kind of is like when you got (laughs) like you don't expect it to just be a white dude that randomly shot his mama over some orange juice do you? Do I, I see that? that? I didn't. I don't know what to expect when I hear I that story. I, I wouldn't have been surprised if he was white. Surprised that that would have happened. I would have been surprised if he was black. I think. I think I was like over some orange juice. I would have thought like maybe she didn't like his girlfriend or something. I mean, the reason the reasoning I think is more than just over orange juice. That's what the report is because we got to report it, of course. Orange juice and a vehicle. But I think he was definitely disturbed mentally. There's some kind of. Uh, no. setback he was having, he did bipolar, That's also, uh, anger issues, uh, he had a trigger or something, okay. uh, PTSD, yeah. something. That's, something. that's worldwide. Something. Right? Like, yeah, that's uh, that's yeah. the issue. I've seen more than a race or relig- a race issue there. I didn't, yeah. I don't mm-hmm. think that, for me, you're right. You're right. You know, there, there, it wasn't like the police shot to do that. Yeah, nah. Or whatever. Mm-hmm. This, she probably but thought he would never kill her. These situations <laughs> happen. Like, this, like, why would two people be arguing about orange juice and a in a car. Yeah. I get the argument. I've <laughs> argued about some stupid shit. Like, some stupid ass That's arguments. Stupid shit. Nothing to get me to the point I to kill broke. somebody. Like, yeah. or, like orange yeah. juice. Expensive. I've had a, I've had a, so I've had a, <laughs> I've had a car. I had an argument about some juice before. We don't I, mean. buy a lot of juice. Yeah. I don't buy a lot of orange juice. Who took the last of the juice? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I came home. <laughs> I seen it in the mother. <laughs> <laughs> but he killed his mama. His mom. Over this. He killed his mama over some orange juice and some dumb shit, man. Straight up. Yes, and it's a Yeah, I. You know, maybe I shouldn't have made it racial. Racial, but whatever. Everything's fucking racial around here. So, <laughs> so whatever the fuck you want to be, and all, all I need to get down to the troll bridge and YouTube. Oh. But the simple truth is, like, yeah, this dude killed his mama. That's not some. That's not some black shit. Yeah, and now, really, now yeah. I say I think black folks now, at can, times love mamas all, to the yeah, phone. We can get everybody yeah, like yeah. finding all the examples where a black dude didn't kill his mom, please, and then give me yeah. all the examples where you know everybody else didn't kill their mama. Yeah, eight yeah. times yeah. out of ten, a black dude riding for their mama. It's not. Yeah, yeah. 
Like, yeah. definitely going down for your mama. Probably. Yeah. Like, even when she wilding, mama done cussed out everybody in the store. Baby yeah. hanging on her hip, you know. Yeah. Yeah. You can tell yeah. mama. Yeah. You can't you tell, can tell her yourself. You can be like, mama, you tripping, but you can't tell everybody else. You might not be able to do that. You might not be able to tell mama she tripping. Yeah. 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 Mama really tripping. Like that's just really abnormal. But um, I don't know. I guess we can go more on that story. I. I, I Has he what he was arrested? Yeah, yeah. I he was arrested. He was arrested. Uh, they booked him in there. He said, uh, "Arrest me, right?" Yeah, he said, "Yeah, come get me." I just, I just killed my mom. I lost it. So yeah, he went to some he kind of cop. just yeah, speculating on the outside. He went to some kind of like blinding thing. Yeah, yeah, I'd have to know more. Like. He went to some kind of blinding rage where he checked out. Everyone was like, "Oh, I fucked if up." If he has any conscience, he probably did. He probably blacked out, man. That was the last straw that day. I want some orange juice. God damn it, I'm getting orange juice. There was none there. Deeper issues there. Such Deeper deep. issues and what we know is going on. Remember, yeah, he played right? the little story. Yeah, that's yeah. The more he would know. Yeah, that's that's some some small shit. It would seem like, but at the end of it, like jail for the rest of his life. We had a, a similar case out here, uh, probably a decade ago. I saw the dude had uh, came up for his case had came back up for a rehearing in the paper last year when I was reading. He stabbed his mom like thirteen times here in here in Bakersfield. Like stabbed her thirteen times and tried to well, cover it up. Like well, said it wasn't me. That somebody else did it, and I found her like that. Like, white dude, white man. So white, I, I like white man. What was the reason why he stabbed her up? I, I don't know. I guess they had been had. Been, I have to look up the story. They had been having issues or whatever, and like this, it came to a and he to a head her. thirteen he, times. He got mad with a kitchen knife. Her thirteen times with the kitchen knife. Were they in the middle of a knife fight? Did she get him twelve? No, times? in the sleep. No, <laughs> in the sleep. She was sleeping. Oh, in the sleep. He came, oh, she okay. came. He came in the Did room she and got. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, killed, her. Got. killed her in her bed. There you go. So that's why I was like, I wouldn't have been surprised if. It was a white dude. And I don't want to paint the whole race with that color, but like crazy shit like that happened all the time. And isn't and it's usually we don't do stabbing. Yeah. We do shooting. Yeah, <laughs> we, we don't stab like that. I shoot a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's some that's mental health to me. That's that's why I'm for defunding the, the police. Like if she had called the cops, like, oh, he's aggressive towards me, he's aggressive, I've been scared, and stuff like that. And there's nothing really police. Yeah, you know, besides come maybe accidentally shoot him, right? But yeah. the cops, they, they, they're not trained to help you with a son that's being mean to you. Like, yeah. But if there's a In certain a group scenario, they can call. This is a situation that's been developing. So That's a domestic, for sure. Yeah, so if you haven't been figuring out a way to get out of this before, then you're fucked at the time that things get out of hand. When it hits that breaking point, yeah. right? You don't yeah. want to look for the solution in the breaking so like, point. So like, we, like you two weeks out from being murdered and you don't realize, oh, this child is crazy and I'm not going to survive this ordeal. Mm -hmm. You know, I, 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 and I, that's unsympathetic because to, I think there's a certain amount of you do need to, you feel like as a parent, you need to know your child and know how to mm -hmm. keep them in hand. But I mean, if you had a point where you're afraid of your child and you've been afraid of your child for a long time. Well, could it be a, I don't want to liken it to it, but like, say you you got a suicidal kid and, and you, you know, you might think, oh, they, they down or whatever, or they going through one of their funks, That's but they'll pull comparison. right through of it. And then one day they often kill themselves. I mean, you don't know until you know, you know? That's a good comparison, but I would think that, I mean, you would have to, either way, you would have, there would have to be some fear there. Yeah, yeah. that they could possibly, at yeah. what you, and, and what point do you act on your speculation? Yeah. I guess it would yeah. Like, if you just think, okay, he may have an issue, but he won't kill me. I'm his mom. You need to mm -hmm. act on that. He may have an issue, right? Like, mm -hmm. the minute that you sitting here justifying that your child won't kill you or that your child. You, yeah. your child yeah. Yeah. You, you know, huge flag. Yeah. Boom. Huge. Like, you need, yeah. You do need to take yeah. that moment. Like, nah, they wouldn't. Yeah. That's the, yeah, for mm -hmm. sure. Mm -hmm. In the but night. not black children. Especially <laughs> black children. I think we get the, oh, the most no. signs get poo pooed in the black community. I think. Oh, oh yeah. You just write it off. I think that it's. I think that it's even across the board. That it's hard to see for anybody. I, I, I think it's hard to determine, yes. But I would also think some families are taking more time to look okay. for that. I'm going to ask you a question. So when you were working at Baskin Robbins, the girl who hung herself, was she. Oh. What was she? Man, good callback, but not good callback. But uh, uh, she was Mexican chick. Mexican. Emo Mexican chick, too. Mexican or Hispanic? Oh, you I, would, I would assume Mexican. 
Well, okay, assuming Mexican, probably Hispanic. Yeah, probably Hispanic. But hunger, so. Just location, I'm assuming Mexican. But, okay. Ah, <laughs> oh, man, that was that was traumatic. Cause she, yeah, had, she had shown- okay, asking you these questions, what did you, what did you yeah. see you know, she, going, going forward? Look, look, looking back, I mean, she, she had missed a lot of days uh, leading up to that week. And, you know, she had had reports, you know, she didn't tell any of us, but uh, head manager will just let us, let us know. Cause she had, uh, she always wore long sleeves and she told the manager, you know, she was cutting her wrist at one point. Uh, and her manager didn't tell nobody? I mean, she just told us to look out in case she's like acting weird to let somebody know, but he didn't tell us all that until after she had already, you know, did that did the did the deed hmm. man i felt i felt pretty i was pretty messed up behind that for a little while i was like man like i worked with her many times she seemed like she was she seemed like she was normal you know like you know she had a couple of bad days where you know she'd be a little emotional but i thought you know women who who don't have yeah, an emotional day every that, now and then you know so that, that, that goes show you though you, you never know what's going on in someone's head you never, never know, know what's going on in their head bro until he, something yeah. happens even if you ask him, how are you? You know, people oh, don't. Good. Be, I'm good. I'm straight. Oh, yeah, cool. And yeah, you just take it at that. And yes, I wasn't yes. trying to look for other cues. Like I didn't really know it like it that. Who it is? Yeah. I think at this point. Don't get me wrong. I wasn't saying that, that like only no, black no, people no, have. No, no, okay. No, 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 no. But I do think no. we get poo pooed a lot. Yeah. yeah. I think that. that Walk it off or get over it. That's a the lot. Less monetarily privileged get. Definitely mm -hmm. more than anybody. And we ain't. And yeah. We just but now think, therapy is uh, getting into the like community. Psychological calls. I think that everybody's at a disadvantage, even the rich people. You don't see you don't see rich people. You don't see it coming when they kill themselves mm. because you wonder why the fuck they did it. But I think a rich people a rich person is more open to uh, oh, the access to health. Out, acting out at the very least. The act the access the access to get the health I think is a little we more there. Know, yeah, we would know those numbers. Those are those are numbers that we would actually have to know more about to be like, oh, rich people. No, I don't know. I don't know. You think you think poor people are going to see therapists? No, I think that poor people. That's the whole point. Yeah, that's the whole point. Yeah. Okay, okay so we are saying the well, same thing, but you came at me like I was saying something crazy. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> All I'm saying is that like, that, like rich kids, you know, committing suicide. We don't know the numbers on that either. No, we don't. And not saying it only affects the poor. Rich kids can commit suicide yeah, too. Yeah. We don't know. Really. Unhappy is unhappy. Oh, yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Money can't uh, fix that. Nope. Yeah, that was. Uh, uh, I was a big fan of Anthony Bourdain. Nobody knows that name. Sounds familiar. Anthony Bourdain. 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 Who is Who's that? Uh, so this is a chef. Yes. Right? He was doing. He had a show called uh, Parts Unknown. Is it Parts Unknown? I can't. I can't even remember because. The minute that I that I got the news that he killed himself, mm -hmm. I was so mad. I was mad. I was so upset. I was like, "Man, this dude." Did he have a hot he, show too? He had an excellent show. Yeah, he was just really unhappy. Just really unhappy. It's just something where you don't even, like you don't even know with shit like that. Not even just suicide, but just the shit that goes on. Like yeah. you call somebody to kill another person, you don't know. Like you have no idea. Like what this dude, he was probably insane. Like, you know, he had he didn't like it probably was that he sociopath or something. Get his orange juice yeah. and killed his mama. Yeah. Like I am a I'ma leave. You don't got the keys to the car. Or it could have been a it could be a chemical imbalance too. Whatever that chemical that creates that anger, maybe he's got it flowing I'm more than it should. Like that's something sparked him. Something, last something that wasn't day. right. Yeah, um, some definitely a lot of racial implications in this one, but we just gonna go. <laughs> but I think I don't, I wasn't trying. Yeah, whatever. I, I'm not even gonna apologize. You can, you know, I, I think this was a good conversation yeah. about health, man. Like at the end of the day, you know, it started with a murder, but it ended it's in social and health as well as mm -hmm. it's social as well as mental. It's, there's more going on. Too. There's a lot more than the surface. He's yeah. just crazy, you know. Yeah. And he, he is probably mm -hmm. crazy, but that he needs he needs more help than but just. But you immediately said that we don't know this. We don't know this dude. That, that, I'm I'm just just looking at the scenario, man. Yeah, I don't know a lot of sane people that would do that. No. Two no. things that are not affordable. It's orange juice and cars. Especially <laughs> and fucking with a Tesla out there, he might kill somebody. Yeah. No, <laughs> no we, we, we You touched my Tesla the Tesla brings people together. No, you talking about the Tesla. You ain't plugged my shit in, Mom? What I tell you? <laughs> 
Yeah. Hey, man, we got jokes zero, and poor zero, taste. Zero, <laughs> poor taste. Everybody getting these jokes, man. Everybody got to get them. Mm, <laughs> man got shot. We talked about her too. What's all these tie-ins, man? He's just oh, tying in great. <laughs> oh, well, Tory Lanez, uh, bullshit. Yeah, he- Sir, didn't he? Tory Lanez or something? He said, "Yeah." Yes, I brought it up. Yeah, didn't he say he uh, he sent her a text just talking about drunk. I was I was I was too yeah I was too drunk. Was just drunk. Shut the fuck. I up. was just drunk, bitch. <laughs> Shut the entire fuck. Can up. we get drunk together? And I have a gun in my hand this time. Let's go do that. Let's go do that. Hit, you talking yeah. about stocks pump plummeting? The Tory Lanez stock. Oh man. Yeah. Sell, sell, sell. I'm pretty sure people saw that. That was going down a long time. And that 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 text didn't help him. No. Nah. Look, I, I would prefer to shut up. Don't say yeah. nothing. You would have been silent this whole time. Don't even say nothing. You know what? He could have took the moral win and just been like, you know what? I I owe you whatever. I would have been here for that. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. I, I did shoot her. It was a terrible. Thing I don't want to throw no people away. People make bad decisions. If he can own it and, he and move, own it, yeah. yeah, he can own it and be like, "Yeah, I shot her. It was, it was terrible." But if you want to continue drunk. to be trash, yeah. Awful, yeah, I can't help that. You oh, like he was being <laughs> trash a long time before that. I <laughs> said, "In you though, he's gonna continue to do." You it. can't get this back, this backlog text. I was drunk, like, like uh, that, <laughs> a month that later. Text has like, what? For, yeah, that text. Yeah, what drunk. happened was, uh, you know, I had a little too much to drink. You know how that Don get in me, man. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I can't take no tequila shots like that, bitch. Come on now. No Julio, man. I told you don't give me no Mexicans around here when I'm drinking. <laughs> <laughs> For real. No Jose, no Julio. Mm-hmm. No, none of that. Yeah, he trashed for that, man. I don't think he'll be back. No, no, but he was just he super that guy. Excellent shot, though. Hit both angles. He's an excellent shot. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent shot. Like, that drunken <laughs> aim, huh? <laughs> Both angles. That's he crazy. Drunken spirit aim. That's crazy. He was mm, mm, mm. about when we talking about that shot for years to come. No, I bitch, that's not gonna give me that mad for me to shoot her. I ain't. I, that's not gonna happen. No, no, to shoot. To shoot. Okay. Okay. Can we list scenarios of where you would probably shoot a shit? You would have to be like killing me. Uh, yeah. That's really about killing it. my ah, killing my mama like even no, if you beating up my mama I feel like I can go over there and stop you without kicking without shooting you you feel without me shooting your ass yeah, exactly I could shoot you in the foot that's what I would go <laughs> for <laughs> what scenario in what scenario if, if I have a gun and you know like well, why you I don't know all you need is a gun to shoot a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put a gun in my proximity. No. I'm shooting all these hoes. No. <laughs> I don't know because we got to disqualify the, the fact that he thought that he was like overpowered or whatever, right? That was the initial argument. Is this, now, is this, is this what we say? Is that what well, he did? That's what he Now did? it doesn't seem like he was overpowered. He was just drunk. And his feelings. Yeah. He was, yeah, he was just drunk and mad. <laughs> <laughs> so I, that that was the case if I have a gun and I'm finna shoot this bitch. Like this that, ass nigga. That's all that scenario <laughs> seems to be. <laughs> Even if he was drunk, oh he was man, drunk, like he just decided like I'm finna shoot. I got a gun. You like, got a female like, getting his films like that, man. Yeah. Imagine imagine him going to VHS or East and he in a in a, in a roasting battle. Oh yeah, no, it would have been whole. <laughs> he, got, he got a, he got a the gun. The whole school would have been on his ass. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's not gonna happen, bro. I can't. Well, you think Boston it. gonna take it? It might not be. It might not record this game, but they're gonna they're gonna take the series off. So are you recording right now? Yeah, I started. Mm-hmm. We need to get going. I want Boston to take Wait, it, but I don't know. If Boston man. win, it's over, right? If yeah. Boston wins, it's done and done. They yeah, Toronto they gonna give you their best team. effort right here. Yeah. I will say this: If Toronto, if Toronto goes ahead, they're gonna have a better fighting chance because they're more experienced. Um, I think they have more longevity. Uh, I think that Boston, the heat? they're gonna go again. Who they playing against? The Heat? The heat? Uh, I, think, I think the Heat might give them trouble. Yeah, Boston. I don't think no. Neither one of these teams want to see the Heat. Toronto got a better chance. Toronto got that fight. Boston. I Boston think, got fight and talent. I think if Boston gets, get, you know, if the Heat give them a, like a good one two, they might buckle. You're saying that, that the Celtics can be emotionally broken before they can Toronto be broken. can be. Toronto can't be broken. They, 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 they here two and three. They here two and three after going down zero oh and two. <laughs> they here two and three. That's big. Past champs, no superstar. 
That's big. That is true. I mean, they were a good team before Kawhi got there. Yeah. That was good, they but they saying, but they don't got a guy, but they don't got so now they got a little chip. They got, you know? a, guy, they got yeah. a chip right now. They, they got can, a guy uh, and now they don't have a guy again. So right? now but now they got something to play for. That's why they got chip on their shoulder. They got, they, got, <laughs> they got a reason to go a little hard. <laughs> Siakam. That's, that's the guy. Siakam. Like, Siakam. Nah, he's not the guy. So since we're talking about, let's talk about Kimba, man. I think he's really showing how good he can be. You feel I me? Have, I've had no doubts about Kim, but that dude is just all energy all the time. I, th- I think in the years past, people kind of slept he on, on Kim. What would exactly, he going do? Exactly. If he was anywhere else, he would have been one of the biggest. I like put him on the Thunder. Way better team than what Chris Paul was. Like he, he oh, could have. Wait, I would yeah. say way better. Wait, oh, yes. They yes. they overachieved what they did this year. Yeah. You think yeah, Kimba yeah. would have did more than that? Yes, he would have done everything wow. that Chris Paul did and injected that. more energy yeah. into the entire team. He, he would bring more energy. He would he bring more energy. Everything Chris Paul did, what would he have not did? That Chris Chris Paul, Chris, Chris Paul is the he essential leader of, of basketball. It seems yeah. like yeah. he motivated that team to a level I don't even think they thought they could play at. No, nope. I don't think Kimba has done that for Boston. Kimba no. just was he a great fit. He does it in a different way for like, what they already had. Being a good fit sometimes is good enough. If you're that good in that position, and that's if that good team's enough to that inject good. that that confidence. But into if a the team. team's that good, the Celtics are a better the team teams without good. Kimba lost, lost, than, than OKC is. You got to remember, the team knows how good they are because they lost Westbrook last year. They know what what they can do. Yeah, they, 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 do. I don't think they had high expectations. I, I don't think they, they thought they were getting but to the they playoffs, got Chris Paul. pushing game seven they against got the Houston Paul, I think it would have been the same thing with Kimba Walker. I think the fight was there either way. How is that not arguable? <laughs> no. It's arguable. You arguing it. You, you, you <laughs> yeah. was definitely arguing yeah, it. We got a head check but over I, don't, I also don't agree. Kim, I think that's a lot of love for Kimba. Yeah. Uh, to, to say I don't that think he can, that is. I think Kim he can give you the same wisdom. Kimba's proven himself over and over. He hasn't. He hasn't, he hasn't done what Chris, and Chris Paul hasn't done a lot. Chris Paul ain't done shit. But Kimba hasn't either. <laughs> let's, not, let's not act like Kimba been out here doing it. He just became an all-star. How long Chris Kimba Paul has been, been an all-star How long much Kimba longer. Been in the league? Yeah. I, don't, I don't even know. Not that long. I don't even know. My, my guess is five, yeah. five years. I would say five years. Yeah. Yeah. Five years? Yeah. You want to call well, me a lie on that? Chris Paul is on his way. You're going to lie on that one. Oh, Kimba, how long have you been in the league? How long have you been in the league? You just calling a lie to call me a lie. What you think? About six years. Well, that's a year. Mean, oh, oh, okay. We're gonna, we gonna get, we gonna get we're gonna finicky. Six years. <laughs> we we <laughs> get really? yeah. right. Okay. What? What? How confident? Oh I'm, shit, man. We can do whatever. What you want to do? You called it. You you called you it. You said I, it. I ain't, I ain't on, true. Man. Man, I ain't seen no push out of you yet, man. I want to see. I wonder what it is. Man. We can do some push-ups. All right. Ooh, I wish I could be the impartial uh, look up here, but I'm running the game right now, people. So. You know, we over here watching. Let's see. Watching Kimba as we speak. You've been lead over five years, bro. Easy. Yeah, no, he has five years. I I would max out seven, I guess. I said five years max because I feel like that's picked by I'm Charlotte right. in 2011. Yeah. So we'll God, then that reshapes <laughs> the whole <laughs> argument. <laughs> oh, shit. But I, I hugely lost that one. <laughs> Good. Look at the oh, even better oh, oh, I gotta do. I gotta record you. you know, oh. Go ahead, uh, man. God, man. Hey, bro, I never Whoa. lose, man. Man, you about to get yours, Maury. Woo, you almost never. lost some money. <laughs> All right, there you go. Three, yep. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, eight, <laughs> nine, <laughs> seven, 14, four, 15, nine, 15, 15, eleven, 18, twelve, nineteen, <laughs> twenty. Yeah, man, well, he's a cheater. He can't be trusted. <laughs> He can't be trusted. No. And I, and I did a little extra. <laughs> nine years? That's nine, nine years. years. Nine strong. Nine years. Kimber Walker, nine years. Yeah, okay. Nine years. Wow. That coach, that's a decade. And he's just now getting in these playoff he, runs. He's probably been on the radar for like, what, four, five? Four. Dude, came out of, dude came out of a, a UConn balling. Balling. Nobody really been talking about him, though. Eight, nine years? A long time. You remember that run, Maury? Oh, dude, at, at UConn? That, that yeah, year? when he won, he won all them games leading up to the tournament, like didn't lose the one, and then swept the way through. Bro, yeah. Crossing niggas left and right, big shot after big <laughs> shot. This all makes my point. Defending stops. But Chris Paul right. was a baller in, a, in, in college, too. For like not, two years. Not like, uh, not like, uh, not like, not like. The first not year like he, he came, he was killing. Like. Chris Paul was killing for like one year. Chris Paul stayed killing. Yeah, he said he's, he's not killing. He's really good. He's not killing. He probably not. Okay, killing. Not, not a lot of people kill. If that's what you're gonna say. No, not a lot of people kill. Kimba Walker kills. Not consistently, then. Hmm. 
I, ooh, no, you a lie. He got – if he killing, what's it right now? Seven seven minutes left. He need to have at least 30 points, eight assists right <laughs> now. Look at look at the stats right that, now. Is that – you fair with that? You a lie. I'll take a shot for this one. You a lie. Now, you agree, though? 30, 30 and eight. That's killing right now. Five minutes left in the game. 30 and eight. And a closeout you know, game. Let's say 25 and eight. 25? I don't agree. If you killing – 25 and 8. If you kill him, what, what's Kawhi got? Maybe he has a third step. What, what Kawhi? Maybe, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I would say the same thing the for Kawhi. Step. I just you know, there'll okay, be a third step. There, it, there's got to be a third step. Give, give me that. We're going to see. Price of what? About five assists? <laughs> Full shot. Yeah, 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 maybe I can push Chris Chris out on a, a shot here. He's going to have to. Man, I'm going to be willing. I'm going to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to shut on up. Come on. Come on. I'm pulling it. I'm pulling the box scores. Give me something. He traveled, man. Got? Come on, Rev. Call that. Come on, man. Cuba. 35 Cuba. minutes. My nigga got three points. Trash. One for five. One for seven from the field. One for five from three points. That's not enough. Three rebounds, three assists. This ain't good. Just give me a shot. But then again, <laughs> that's a poor performance. But then again, they only lose my two points. points? Only mm-hmm. They only lose my two points, though. But Him that's, that's like that? what I'm talking about, though. They don't. Well, who's the Celtics are a better team than OKC. Chris Paul up. did that. OKC would be blown out the court. Yeah. <laughs> Bring up that box yeah. score. Bring up that box score and uh and who are their top three right now? Right now in the, in in the in this game for Celtics, you got a uh, Jalen Brown oh. out here doing his thing with twenty seven. You got Jason, Jason Tatum okay. out here with twenty. Okay. Marcus Smart been showing up. He's been their third consistent with seventeen. He's series. good, but I don't think he. I mean, how long can he do that for? I wouldn't want him to be my guy. I would love for him to be my third, fourth option, which third option here is good. Third option, all right. So yeah, why, exactly. man, I, I didn't even watch this game close. But that should be Kimber. That's messed up. I, I, well, that's not messed up, but that's a that's a, a failure on my part. I didn't watch this game, and I haven't been interested in this series. Great. Oh, but, uh, I should have been – like, I can tell yeah. you where Kimber Walker went wrong in this game if I had paid attention. But I didn't. did not. Yeah, this it hadn't it's been the most exciting. Good. I thought. Oh, go ahead. All right. He, he, he's, not, he's, not, he's not doing the same this game. He ain't – one for seven, over, over three in a, at halftime. Like, bro, this is your this is the game to go to the the, the, the finals, Easter Conference the closeout game. What are you doing? This is how people get traded, right? You riding the coattail. Yeah, you just mm-hmm. yeah. Come on now. He, they're not gonna trade him. He's he's been too good for the team. But I think that's this is just showing he's not been experienced in these kind of games. How he loses money in the NBA. Well. Like uh, when it t- comes time to resign, he is not gonna like like man, you did not come up in the. He might resign. He might resign. Not gonna get millions. Luckily, it's the it's first year on this deal. But he got time. Between, Let's not write him off. Between Jalen, Jason, and <laughs> and he, no, he but they already paid him. That's the thing. They already paid him. He was the free agent that they signed. How many yeah. years? I think he what four years, three, four years. Oh, yeah, about three or four. <clears throat> we right. got time. Oh, so they gotta they gotta work with him, and he gotta get better. Yeah, they gotta earn that money. Yeah, they, and if you you already not the main guy right now, and you can you can get to this point, hey, to the head, to the head. This, this I, I think that means you found a good fit. Damn. Woo! Can't beat these motherfuckers. Come on, man. That's smooth, man. You don't, you don't say that about grapefruit. Right. <clears throat> but the grapefruit. Um. Yeah, are we gonna be sitting here talking about this game the whole time? Cause we got Clippers coming up, Clippers, Clippers, Denver coming up. Yeah, I told you, you Denver would get swept. <laughs> Who you got on the next game, uh, Maury? What's is it one and one? Is it two and one? Two and one. 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 Denver. No, Clippers won. No, nah, Clippers. Yeah, Clippers. It's Clippers won the other night. Oh man. Ah. Ah, I mean, the way Paul George played last game, I might have to go Clippers in, in, uh, in the next game, man. They might oh, you coming alive in the Paul George train, yeah. huh? I mean, finally, he, he showed up. Shit, man. You got damn, you good. Play like yeah. that. Niggas was calling him yeah. garbage, garbage. Like, yeah, yeah I was man, talking like, big, big shit about Paul George. You, you know what? what? He deserved what all saying, of Nick, that. What you doing? He deserved all of it. <laughs> he deserved every little bit of that. Yeah, he, he would tell you he wasn't playing right. You know, he was saying he was in his head and stuff like that. Wasn't yeah, but if you something like that, getting your head that's so small, uh, a dude talking about you on, what, Instagram or Twitter, uh, I, don't think uh, was, I don't think it was that. I think it was the I the whole was bubble that. atmosphere being away from his support system. I, I think it's it's that kind of thing. What about the yeah, other? Want some pussy? That's how many years when he been falling off in playoffs? Oh, now I was talking about. I was talking first. about the bubble play specifically. Mm-hmm. I don't. I don't know. But I can't. I can't accredit the mother years. No, we don't slide that shit aside. <laughs> all that bubble. Shit. Right now he's playing better. He's no. he's whatever he had no, to talk. Okay, this a bubble. Good. This bubble and them just playing in a gym. On, there is no they they all have an opportunity to just go at each other like these are scrimmages. 
basically. I think that's, kind of, yeah, because the, 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 without the, the crowd doing. there. There's no crowd. The hostile yeah. environment. It's big, man. Yeah. When the, yeah, when the crowd, ain't cha- crowd ain't like chanting like LeBron's gonna trade you. Like that shit. <laughs> <is> <laughs> man, you don't hear a racist <laughs> white dude calling you out your name on yeah, the sideline? Yeah, Come on, yeah, these are things. Yeah, like these things happen. <laughs> people do affect your performance. And when you got people out there eating popcorn and eating candy and laughing, like, uh, mm-hmm. you are here watching this damn game. It's 98, 98. <laughs> this is actually pretty big. Maury, right now, 50 seconds left, 98, 98. Who gonna get it? Put a shot on it. Boston, Boston. Boston for the win. Toronto, Toronto not going home. All I right, put a shot on a $5 it. $5 bet right here. I'm putting money on Oh, we putting it. money? $5. Toronto. Uh, I'm backing out. Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> Toronto, $5 you alive right now. You got $5 Toronto, yes. Yes, commercial break. We gonna go five. This is a this is a real flimsy bet. We gonna go five dollars on Toronto. I ain't gonna go big. We can talk about uh, we can talk about Houston Lakers uh, later if you want to. But this one, let's talk about it now while it's on commercial. It's gonna be two minutes. Damn it! Well, when it comes up, we gotta watch it. That Houston boy. is playing better than I thought. They give him fits to uh, Anthony Davis with the strength of uh, P.J. Tucker. But when the Lakers are rolling, there's nothing Houston can do about it. They won by, like, over 10, I think, yesterday, 10, 12 points. So am I the only one who's, like, disappointed in Anthony Davis? Yeah. I, am. I mean, uh, I'm also disappointed no, in, in, in the way he's uh, you, inconsistent. Murray? Yeah, he's inconsistent, man. He's real – he's a, he's good. When he's good, he's so, me. Ian Comis were talking about it, and I think that it's not really on Anthony, Anthony Davis' shoulders, his inconsistency. They're asking way too much of him. Put him in the power forward position. Let him do what he does. He's good. Uh, uh, honestly, like, if you think about Draymond Green, he's like uber Draymond Green. Like, he, he can – like you, you won't question him when he's open on a corner three. Um, he's gonna be there for help defense. He's gonna be there for them sneaky rebounds. He's not the guy where you shine the spotlight on him in a center position, and he's gonna make his play. You know I don't even I mean? think he's playing out of a true center position. But he is playing with like they're giving him the ball and saying, "Do something with this." Yeah, you think that would change if they moved that move him to a four? Nope. I think what they still don't give him the ball because he's the I best think player what on the needs court. To change is they nope. need to be real about who the focal point of the offense. Oh, is. We all know who that is. Oh, there you go. Ah, foul, man. Come on, ref. We were talking about focal point not too long ago. We were. Uh, I, I say Anthony Davis has to do the the main offensive lifting. The lifting, yes, but he can. But LeBron can absolutely take all of the brunt of the focus. Yeah. You see how LeBron is doing Westbrook. Ah, all that Westbrook, huh? Westbrook is getting his ass handed to him, bro. He's no LeBron. He's just a smaller version of LeBron. He's not LeBron. He's not. A, he he's doesn't like even have the same skill set. LeBron skillset. had somebody who was three quarters the size of him. It would be Russell Westbrook with less IQ. Less with IQ. less IQ. Whew. That's a foul, man. Dang, man. Two point two seconds left. Whose ball is it? I think they tied up too. They won't let it go. I'll up it to 10 if we go into overtime. They tied up. If it goes to overtime, I'll, I'll do I'll go 10. So we're looking in the East. Miami, you know, 8-1. and one. Celtics got a chance to go to the Eastern Conference Final with a win here. I mean, who getting out? Who getting out the East? Is it Miami's to lose? Miami's to take? The it's Celtics, I mean, okay. Toronto's to lose? Well, okay, we got to let Maury look, give your analysis, man. Knowing what you know about Toronto, and that they may very well, uh, we, this game's not over. If they mm-hmm. if they were to go, we we immediately have to stop talking about this if they do. But if, <laughs> if they were to go right now, Toronto goes to the finals and they face up with Miami. W- what do you see? What's your diagnosis? I got, I got Raptors in that series. Okay. Okay. On the, right. on, on the strength of I would too. Kyle Lowry? I would Kyle too. Lowry, they got experience. They, they won't be experience. phased by all of that energy that the Heat have. It won't phase them. Team. I think it's a better team than the uh, Heat with the Raptors. I don't know. Milwaukee was better. a better team than the Heat. Who? They, they're, they are a better team. Milwaukee? No, they weren't. No, they weren't. No, Milwaukee was a better team. No, they weren't. Mm. They, had better, they had better players. Like, yeah, there you go. Mm-hmm. That doesn't better. make a better team. Yeah. Okay. Okay, better talent, more talented team. How about that? Yeah, more talented. You can say that. Okay. No, yeah, talent, talent can be shit if you ain't putting everything together. But yeah, uh, Heat was definitely the better team. Like they've been a the better he's team. Got a group of players 
that can do their thing. Bucks got Giannis and Bledsoe. He kind of feels so so. George Hill is okay. Chris Middleton they're talking about who disappears during playoffs. Yeah. Middleton carry. Oh, did he make that note? Oh. Uh, they called a foul. Oh, uh, see. Are we gonna get? We gonna free throw our way out of this? Uh, they going. That's the worst possible thing he can do as a ref. It had to be blatant. Ooh. I say it's a gift from the God. <laughs> I think we a little behind more. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh man, more yeah, more. You know, more got this on straight up cable. He hooked up. No, do. Going overtime. It's a horrible okay. angle. Oh, okay, but we. Oh, it's called it out. No free throws. OT, yeah, it, it do miss a shot. Y'all behind some? Yeah, we we a behind. Bit, a little bit, yeah. Don't say nothing. Oh, he already said oh, it. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So you going up to ten? You I have to I 10. have bowed out gracefully. Going up to ten. Chris has anteed up to thirty. Yeah, I have he bowed so out. Sure <laughs> Boston's gonna win. Chris is betting thirty bucks on this game. I thought I was on Toronto at that. <laughs> Not even Boston. Who's <laughs> <laughs> you bowing out? I have bowed out. All right. I got 10 bucks on uh, Toronto. Just, I mean, the the, the sheer grit that they That's shown. all it is. Dude. I like Boston better. I just like the, I mean, yeah, you know, they got more, they got, they got more faces. They got a better roster. Like, mm. you look at their roster and you say, man. It's, it's a sexier there. team, huh? <laughs> team got right all the bells and whistles. What you can't hurt, <laughs> what you can't hate on is how Toronto been playing, man, like all year. All year, non-stop. Yep. There has been no bad words about Toronto as an organization. Am I am I wrong? Mm-hmm. Nick no. Nurse, coach of the year. Coach of the year. Is they, it second they, winning too? Is it? Is they second? I think he did win it last year too when they well, won the championship. And the, the sad thing is, they need to win this year because they're not gonna get shit. Right? Like yeah. they're not gonna get shit when everything's over and it's time to. Start over, like who they got can, all the good players. You can try to draft. get a free agent, but you ain't gonna draft nobody. They're, yeah, nobody's well, gonna. You can't say you gonna draft nobody. Nobody That's might not. come to Cor- Toronto. Like, Fred Van Vliet was an undrafted free agent. You can find gems and undrafted you know, free agents. So yeah, you can't say they can write it's, anybody. It's out. real. It's rocky. That's but real. you can find them. Fred Van Vliet was one of them, it's and rocky. he has proven to be a guy for you. You can't. You Golden can't write it off. State has shown that you can kind of write it off. Undrafted free agents. Yeah, they didn't, you can't unwrite. You can't write undrafted free agents off. A little bit. Yeah. You can't. You cannot. What's the percentage? You cannot just write them off. A little bit. Tiny you can't write them off. You can't. You can't. You can write them off. If you think you can only you build can. your your roster through people you draft and high rounds and people at that, that point, and free agents, you will have to have somebody who has done their homework so well that you're not worried. Oh, about. that's your phone. I'm like, it's my phone. <laughs> at that point, you will have to. Uh, have somebody who did their homework so well that you're not worried about the top three. Hey, you talking about an organization yeah, that probably has that. Like that. Uh, like but, uh, you think you think so Toronto has a great organization. Players that don't no one even know about. I ain't say they're undrafted, but that don't know much about. They mm-hmm. go find them and they do they they doing their thing. When the they had that uh, Jonathan Simmons dude from the G the D League, yeah. I think, at the yeah. time, or G League, one of them, I can't remember. But he came in and did gave him a playoff push when they lost all their starters. Then Kawhi was sitting out with the thigh contusion. He yeah. was for won a couple games. Yeah, come on. In the playoffs. Now. Simmons, oh, on the Spurs? On the Spurs. I was actually rooting for him, but where is he now? Uh, he went to Miami, never got a, never got another chance. And then again, time is everything, too. The got to be a – uh, right situation, right numbers are, right the, the numbers do not look good for the rest of the draft team. Uh, that's not to say that you don't get little nuggets of gold coming out, but do you, can you depend on that? Can you depend on that? Can you depend on that like you would depend on a lottery pick? I mean, if you if you're talking about Toronto having to depend on a guy when you get into if you I mean we're talking about getting getting to the Eastern Conference Final, then I, I think we we kind of diluting the conversation. They don't got to depend on an outside guy. They can find pieces that can come in and contribute without having to look for a star. Do you think that – I think that they already no. did that this year. They didn't add anybody. Who they add? They didn't add anybody, but they're like they – they, 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 they didn't try to fill they're holes in no way. They got right now, and what's going to happen come a time, you know, when contracts are – how many contracts are up right now? I don't know. They, they don't, I don't know. They I don't get know down. all that, but I know that there's got to be one or two. Uh, one or two important contracts. I don't, I don't, I don't see them I, having no I, big I, money on the book. Money. I'm thinking Lowry on the way out, Ibaka on the way out. Money. You know who's gonna get paid more? 
Van Vliet gonna get paid more. You know who else? Yeah, gonna get they'll, paid more? Be, they'll sign Van Vliet. Siakam get paid. Siakam will probably get a check. Siakam gonna get paid. Ibaka so be out. Got, so Lowry will be out. There you go. They really rebuild it. This is what I'm talking about. This is what they I'm really saying. They really would have you to make rebuild. My point. Like you were making very good. They would have to like, rebuild. Uh, like your points were very. What's the word? Hypothetical. But I'm talking about the reality. Mm-hmm. People are gonna be gone next year. Mm-hmm. This is what I was bringing up. So like, well, you didn't bring it up to right now, but okay. <laughs> but I did, though. That was the first thing I said. I was like, they're go- they're come next season, they're gonna be screwed. They gotta pay somebody, and then they gotta let how many people go. They can pay max two people, and then the other people are gonna be unhappy, and then they're gonna have to find somebody to fit that role. I don't think this is a team you're trying to pay a whole lot of people. Let Ibaka go. I think this is a team. This dude probably on his rookie deal. You should pay three of these starters. You should pay him. Pay three you're not starters. paying people next year, though. You got to look at how they contracts break. I think this dude's still on his rookie shit. Van Vliet's probably still – probably ending his rookie keep, shit. Keep Siakam. He's still developing. Keep him. Keep Van Vliet. You're not getting rid of any of those guys. No, you're not. Keep – uh. Uh, uh Lowry. Ooh. No, Lowry's out. No? Lowry's Where's out. Lowry going? He's on his way out. He can retire if he's he wants to. He's a leader, to. so way team is falling apart. He this can, is what I'm talking he, about. He can, he can full retire. Point made. Go live, go live your life, man. Toronto's, <laughs> Toronto's going to be shit next year. That's, a, that's my point. It's not going to be good. That's Whatever they are right now, they're yeah. just leftovers. From Toronto them. will be able to win 38 games. The they can get into the playoffs in the East. Yeah, so? it's, it's, yeah, they'll get it. You a goddamn lie. They're not going to win 38. They're going to lose. They're going to be <laughs> out of the goddamn playoffs. Somebody's going to be taking their spot because the East is going to be eager next year. They can get 38 games. They're not going to get 38. They can get 38 nope. games. He's not accepting my – he's not accepting. I'll stand on it. They can get 38 games. games. All right, you lie. They can make the playoffs. And Good make life. the playoffs. Same future dollars for next uh, there it NBA is. season. Yeah. Wait, so this is them making the playoffs. So I'm betting on 30, 38 and them making. 38 and? 38 so, wins and making the playoffs. So 38 and they don't make the playoffs. And I still don't get my money. I don't get Yes, $10. I don't get this. The 38 and making the playoffs is what I'm saying they will. Be. So if they don't do both of those things, I got to pay. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. I'll work with that. 10 seconds. Nine. He ain't hitting no shot. He ain't, he ain't, he ain't clutch like this? that. Who is this? Al. Yeah, he ain't clutch like that. We went in double overtime. We going up. Is it up? 15. Up, 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 15. Up, 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 we got to go up and down five. $15. <laughs> you got to keep these, these highlights right here. We're going up. 15. I mean, All right. overtime. I mean, you got to go double enough. $20, man. I'm betting on Toronto, man. So now we're asking who's going to gonna gas out. So Who's going to go on E first? The, in, the individuals, as far as uh, Tatum, Jalen Brown, him but them, they're going to keep up energy. But the game plan and the experience goes to Toronto. Mm, 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 right? Mm, I would agree. So mm. do you bet on individual energy or do you bet on game plan and experience? I will bet on the game plan, the game plan and experience. Chris is in. Fifteen wait, dollars. Wait, no, I asked. <laughs> Fifteen dollars. Okay. Fifteen dollars. I'll go up. We're going up five. We're going up five. We're going into double overtime. Ah, oh, this is upsetting. We just losing time. What would you say, more? I say I say twenty dollars. I got twenty dollars on on Boston right now. He said go up twenty. He said go. He said get, get down where you mad at. Okay, let's just make it twenty. <laughs> we'll make it twenty. Anyway, get down where you mad at. We're gonna make it twenty. Whatever. $20. I'll, gonna, I'll put it on Toronto, man. It's That's probably a, been the best series. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't know. Yeah, but, no, of this up. round. And I have to. I really I haven't been watching all, a lot of it. All of it. I did. Ca- I, catch, I caught the game where he hit that incredible shot. Well, really, the Not incredible it. pass. I don't know. Did you see the highlights? The Lowry pass over Taco Fall. Lowry's been. And he lobbed it over that 7 12. <laughs> well, he got him 7 12. He was like 7 5. That, that was beautiful. The I pass see is better that, than the shot. Lowry's been. Above and beyond whatever he's been in the past few years, he's been above and beyond this year. I credit I, huge playoff leader. What, well, who would have seen that coming for credit? I, Kyle Lowry. And this was my he point I was making before, but uh, before credit, Lowry was credit the credit Kawhi. I mean, if, yeah. you, if you're a Toronto fan, you can't. I mean, Kawhi came and he left. He won nice to the job. Credit him. You yeah. feel me? But you know, it's the best night of y'all life. Y'all learn. <laughs> y'all learned so Lowry much. Lowry was like he, sh- he showed y'all all kind of new moves you can use in the bed. Like he was the best one night stand of y'all life. Well, here's the best thing. <laughs> 
or okay, we got a game going. Okay, that's this highlights, play. yeah. Okay, so what did what did Lowry learn from Kawhi that he wasn't doing correctly? Winning, I think it's just what winning mentality, right? He brought a, a winning mentality from the Spurs. Okay, that, okay, let's 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 speed past all of that. Let's not talk about metaphorical shit. Meta, it's not metaphorical. Wait, wait, what could Kawhi have passed on Kawhi Lowry that he was not using during playoffs? So playoffs? You're, you're asking what moves does he have on the court? Not move, not just moves. Timing. Timing so when right? he does something on the court, I'm not even saying that. I'm talking about what it takes in the moments to win games. I so when 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 to give more effort, when to encourage your teammates, uh, what kind of energy you need to have going into the game, how to even probably pace your energy throughout well, a game then that to last. Mean, that would mean that we would have to ask the question: What has Kyle Lowry changed between? Ooh, what has Kyle, Kyle Lowry changed between now and before? Lost to Mar DeRozan. <laughs> I mean, if we that's all we <laughs> really know. Gained Kawhi and then lost Kawhi. But no, but now he's like you said playing better than he's ever played while you chew on your McRib. Uh, <laughs> Is that how you it really? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, I mean, he, I, I agree. He's playing the best ball he's played. Mm. Best ball he's ever played. Kawhi, uh, not Kawhi. Kyle Lowry. Kyle Lowry. Somebody who I wasn't sleeping on, by the way. But you remember his DeMar DeRozan days, like the, the rep he had was, man, he gets cold in the playoffs. He misses yep. everything. He'll go zero for 25 over two games. Uh, uh, and, uh, and on that tip, uh, DeRozan is slowly developing as well. In the Spurs. So you got the guy that learned the knowledge, came to Toronto and making taught it, each other better and then took DeRozan and to learn the knowledge. Back. Like making each other better. Like you guys are a great – Team, friends too. But, they were great uh, friends. Yeah, great friends, and they're holding each other back. But uh, yeah, man, we just we just over here just bullshitting each other. Well, we riding the game out, y'all. Really you know, but four minutes left on our end. That's why we Boston is up too. Bullshit. You preemptive in the shot? Uh, no. <laughs> not, no, I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, it's we, money. Yeah, huh? we did definitely bet money on this. So. Oh, Tice with the throwdown. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Toronto might be out of there. Oh. That's not good. Is the game plan going to give That's out? That's not good. And I'm pouring this in the shot glass like I'm taking a shot. I'm not. I'm just sipping this, guys. I got my shot, man. Might as well do a shot up. She ain't doing nothing else. Was that Siakam to the lane no, again with another heard. blown layup? Did you take the shot? Nope. No, I'll wait. Good no call, ref. Y'all still in it? Three minutes is a long time. This is bad news, Chris. Oh! <laughs> Come on, let's go! Siakam should let's be their go. best finisher. Oh, no. Si- Quit jogging. Siakam should be their be- the best finisher around the rim, but it's not. It's really Kyle Lowry. Yeah, Lowry finishes. When it, he can when finish. it matters. He when it matters. Finish. Yeah, he can definitely finish. But oh. I, I ain't looking to Kyle Lowry oh. for my game-winning shot, oh, though. No, no. Not either. Not either. If he hit that, they want it. Oh, yeah, that was an air ball for real. But you got to clean up. You got to clean out without a foul. They you got to be able to clean up without a foul. They called a foul. Right <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, they didn't clean up. That's why. You got to clean up without a foul in these moments. All they had to do was box out. Clean and Get Toronto a quality big. They couldn't do something. We're oh, they Serge. Serge need to go. What they, Serge what, what if Toronto landed a Carl Anthony Towns Where's Serge somehow? at? Serge right there with a boxer's ass out. Get Serge out of here. He what if, what if, what if they started. landed a Carl Anthony Towns? You're not for that? Damn easy. Y'all don't like Cat? You need them more? He bitch ass. He wild Jimmy. Lewis. I like Cat. Toronto hey, landed Kat, a car Anthony Towns. They'd be all right. Mm. Yeah, they still be, be back in the East. He got a lot yeah. of work to do to make me. Yeah, yeah, he'll do something with Cat. I'll do something with him a year and a half, two years ago. When he, <laughs> just, he's just a talented player, but he ain't got no fight in him. You don't think Toronto can give him that? He couldn't buy in in Toronto? You know what? Put him in Toronto's culture. Yeah, he'll learn how to be a fighting player. He could buy in with all yeah. that talent. I'm not counting on cats. Still, let, let, let Ooh, him, let yeah, him that's around. either dude super strong or that's just poor excuse to the box out. Yeah, there, there was no box out. He, no he, box look, he tried out. to look, he look, tried look, to put no, it back on him, but dude got that? no leverage yeah. at all. <laughs> no, this was like this was after the shot went. Yeah, dude already had plays. Yeah. He knew the shot was coming. Nobody else knew the shot was coming, and nobody boxed him out. Got to get your antennas up. Position. Get your antennas right. up. That's, that's just Where's your way. antennas? <laughs> so Norman Powell with the crispy hairline. Yeah, he getting buckets on you? 108, 110. You know what? I'll respect that. <laughs> yeah. I'll respect that. <laughs> 
Do he get? Do he get lineup? Okay. They, they're not bonus, are they? Do he get? Jump, That's he get that was look like it was in the in the shooting, right? In the active shooting. Like the nigga put back, put back. Yeah. I would have tried to shoot it. Yeah. Oh, okay, he drops it. Unless they call foul. Back. Wait, no, that ain't connect. Foul. He got fouled right there. Got oh, by backhand. Right by backhand. Foul right there. Now he got fouled like eight times. They called it right man. there. That's that's nah, that's the one they called. Nah, they got a cop. No, no. Come on, man. <laughs> something. Give us something. They're not, they're, not, they're not gonna retroactively call the foul. Uh, retroactively, maybe they couldn't call the whistle fast enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with the you whistle. Don't know. I don't bet know. that's the thing, though. All these late, that's a late whistle. No, that's a probably, oh, like, God. <laughs> you miss a half a second and that play goes by. You gotta let that. So well, they, no. they <laughs> What's the procedure when your whistle don't work? <laughs> hey! Oh, the whistle works. It's not the whistle. It's, it's definitely you. Like, when you. <laughs> They probably got spare spare yeah. whistles in their pocket. You got to carry at least three whistles at all time. One in your sock, one in your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. On the wrist, though. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Stay ready. See our Kyle Lowry, come on. God damn it. Why? Oh! All right, get a stop now. Oh, and he said, God damn it. Now, I think we're about to go up, Chris. Get a stop now. I think we're about to go up. I think we're about to get a stop. Come on, let's get it. Ah. Yeah, let's go. Corner man, corner man, corner man, corner man. That's off. Like oh, oh. Like oh, he said, let's go. Oh, I hate you. Right oh, now. big time three, oh. big time three. Oh, who hit that in the corner? Marcus Smart. Smart. He ain't even a three-point shooter. No, he's he balling today, though. He's been balling the whole series. He's always balling. Mm -hmm. oh! oh, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I want you quiet when somebody else scored. I know oh, with the man, crispy. You play that up. With the crispy that. hairline. Woo! Come on, come on, come on. Beam up. You know what? Oh, no. Okay, you ain't got to an answer for Thice. All y'all got to do is get physical. Make somebody shoot two free throws. They ain't got to an answer for Thice, bro. Thies, Thice, Thesis? Thies. <laughs> I think it's Thies. Thelonious. <laughs> Damn it! Okay. Woo! Well, I'm with Toronto. They they do get hot. He don't want to hit the hit the point five shot. Now talking about whack niggas, bro. Come on, come on, coach. What you got to say? That boy look ashy. <laughs> yeah. Get this boy some Johnson Johnson. Now he the Luberdern. Ooh, no calls from the ref. No calls. <laughs> okay. Nobody right. want that job. Oh, yeah! yes! Let's go. Yeah, he scores too. Yeah! Oh, oh, yeah! Yeah! oh no! That's, That's that experience. The universal That's and that one. Experience. That's universal. Oh. Mm. Uh. Do that to anybody in China and be like, "Oh, hmm? what heard them sound effects?" But that's what you call victorious prediction. And uh, welcome to the Toronto Celtics watch party. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, yeah, okay. I'll give you this though, Maury. Uh, they did not call a foul on the other end. You saw that, right? That got real physical. I saw nothing. Yeah, okay, that was an admittance if you didn't catch it. Now, you talking about the, the reach? The reach in? No, on the other end, when Boston went in for Boston the went in, in the in the paint, the lob it, it got super physical in there. I think somebody got jostled. They, oh, they're less likely to call Jocelyn in the paint, though. All I'm saying is I think it was If it was a guard that did that dunk, they maybe would call it. Big man, they're going to let you get jostled. No. You got to bring Jocelyn back. Jocelyn. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to see that play, though. This dude, no, hit it, though. You What's his name? Agunde? 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 More doesn't look happy, but let's continue. Uh, oh, he on commercial. Man, yeah, he waiting. Yeah, he I'm waiting. Crazy. But that's a two-point lead, right? Or is that three? Is that two or three? Four. About four points. Oh, man. I'm feeling pretty good about myself right now, Maury. Yeah, Brian is checking his accounts, make sure it's prepped. <laughs> and make sure he got room to accept. Put my finger, <laughs> fingerprint in real quick. Get a, get a stop. That was the shot I was talking about. He been hitting them, though. All right, so this is big boy. He been hitting them. He don't care. He been oh, hitting them. That, was, that was the point five. He going to get paid, too. The behind the back was silky oh. too, Lowry. I see you. Oh, 
I already been playing though. He's behind the back with Soki. I already been playing. He don't care. Oh my! He don't got the reminders on. Oh, it's not. It's not looking good over there. Boy, tight. He tight. Oh. <laughs> it's game over, bro. Wow, this game has been insane, bro. Let's be yeah, real. This game has been insane. This is a good game to bet on for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, good floater in the lane. Good floater in the lane. Why, why didn't Maury get upset about the score again? Why? About to see right now. About the score right now, he said. It's all part of his plan to make you think he ain't winning the bet, but really. <laughs> <laughs> when he started playing, you know. Okay. Now we playing uh, mental dominoes. Come on, man. No, we got we to gotta get this. Who is this? Lowry with the ball? Yep. Oh, is that Ogadobi? That's Lowry. Oh, oh my God. God. You don't win the game. This is how you that lose shot. the game, man. Yeah. We're talking about the, that, talking, yeah. we're talking about the experience. That's how you lose. That's how you A lose. A shot right like there. that? That's how you lose. That's that's a caliber shot that take, take the wheel out of the team. Are you in timeout right now, or are you watching the game? Uh, that's in timeout right now. Okay. All right. Back in it, Dang, I got to pee. Now I got to wait. When a dude is off balance and he lose the ball, too? He shouldn't have made that. He should not have made that, but he switched. That's insane. That 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 make you be like, are you kidding me? God wanted you to lose this game. Yeah. <laughs> and he did the little swim at the we end. just talking about time. Look, he wanted that call. No, no, it was, it was pretty composed that, all the way through. He got a high five, swish. Not a switch, quite, but almost. I almost. thought he was a little more out of control. He looked pretty composed throughout that whole motion. Oh, no, the entire thing. He exactly. I think he's been like that for years. Yeah, he was pretty controlled in that. Everything that he does in those tiny motions, I, I don't think there are very few players. He's one of the craftiest in the league, yeah. One of the craftiest, <laughs> yes. Like when people talk about Kyle Lowry, I think this is what they're talking about. Chris Paul-esque. Let's not give Chris Paul that much credit. Chris Paul-esque. Kyle Lowry better than Chris Paul? Are we about to get into a Chris Paul argument about how garbage Chris Paul is and why he's not? Kyle Lowry is better than Chris Paul. Mm, right now he is. Where you stand on this, Mark? Are you moving on Chris to – Chris Paul is there loud. You're moving on to a game. I agree. <laughs> no, no, better than. <laughs> yeah, he's better than Lowry. I guess we'll find out after this whole series was over. 122 to 123. Come on, Boston. We need lucky. I don't think they gave, they gave up, though, the Celtics. They stayed uh, no, the Celtics with the eye don't. of the tiger. They, here's the thing. They didn't give up. They didn't oh, buckle. No, the Celtics ain't playing. They're not playing around. This is These are two teams right now that don't give a fuck. Why? What? It's Tatum, bro. Boy, you can't. You, you got to have somebody hugging. The way Kobe channeled Michael, Tatum is going to channel Kobe. Oh, yeah. Uh, somebody should be hugging Tatum like all game. There should never give him, give him three years. Yeah. You're gonna be a whole yeah. problem. Not three years. Give him one. You think next year he coming problem problem? Yes. He'll be he'll be did more improved. He'll did be more improved. See how he was acting this year. He'll be more improved. This dude is gonna be three bad. years. We, we talking best players of the league. Less than three. I'll give him one, two max, not three. Not best player in the league though. He's gonna be competing. Not, not the competing. best, best in the league. Three. Yeah. Top three. In in two years. That whole conversation of who the best of the league is gonna look different in three Luka. years. Luca, he's gonna be LeBron and better than LeBron ever did because LeBron is a right uh, stat pattern. Hey, <laughs> stop that right now. <laughs> <laughs> look, Luca ain't nowhere near LeBron. Nowhere near it. They have very similar skill sets. No, we're near LeBron, bro. Very similar skill sets. Except only Luca's more Luka's James more than LeBron. Effective. More James Harden. Luca, no, you can't. You can't put Luca and LeBron in the same sentence right now. Can't even do it. How? Can't even do it. Why well, don't like? Nah, they don't. They ain't got enough. He ain't got enough on his career to put him. No, in the don't. Same can't put. Can't even. Nah, nah. Hold on. Nope. We, the, we gotta rein all this into into one circle of what Luca encompasses. And put the what you know equalize that with Le, with LeBron, but like right now, how Luca's doing in his since what his sophomore year? Mm -hmm. What was LeBron doing? Similar things. Yeah, probably better to sit than him. Oh, we're we gonna have to look into that. We're gonna have to look at, you know what? We're all we're gonna have this argument argument at the end of the night, and it's gonna yeah. be. 
number one, what are you saying? Uh, about music generation? I don't even know. I looked at all the people this, this that NBA done got, got a little long with it already. I looked at all the people that stopped LeBron from getting what he wanted, and it just it lowered LeBron in my eyes again, lowered him. We're about to get this. Yeah, yeah, y'all, y'all got this. I want to walk away, but I <laughs> well, I don't know what they're arguing. It's yeah, serious. man, just play the game. They got so much dead time in basketball. I'll be killing them. Ball. Three points, point five seconds. Well, everybody, everybody's thinking about Derek Fisher right now. Let's just not have another Derek Fisher moment. Oh, point. You know, we ain't even thinking about Derek Fisher. We thinking about another night ago when old boy hit the shot with point five seconds left. Who was that? Him, number three. Oh, but die, whatever his name. You is. did not see it. That's the game. Well, I, I need to see the clock run out before I go to the bathroom because that's when we're gonna cut the clock. And I earned twenty dollars. Come on, and man. that was only for me to continue. We can put money on who's gonna win the series after this. We'll talk about that later, though. No, they gave him two seconds. Still, they did. Uh, they gave him point seven, but uh, Toronto they they uh, let the clock run out. They were get they were getting ass whooped right now. Nigga slip. Y'all know what they got going. The nigga slipped. That game, right? Like the ref did not call. No. Okay. You can't try to play the. Game. You can't try to play the refs in them situations. All right. Did my nigga game, slip? We got a game seven coming up. These may be some of the most hotly contested. Oh, what happened? Oh, that? they they jawing? Yeah, it was yeah. good. Hey man, all you gotta tell them is give me that tomorrow. Yeah, give me that billboard. Um, oh, you know, bulletin board wait. material. Yeah, that was Toronto was down two and three. Whole ass nigga. One more game, man. Come on, man. He a father. Stop all that. You know what? He got to he gotta get his mental jawing in right now. Be mad because you put up 30 and lost. Go on. He's not mad. He got to he gotta get in the head now. Right now. Right now, after the game is over. No, Nick, you don't know I beat his ass. No, yes. you won't, family. You ain't beating no ass. Go on. Yeah, <laughs> get your Canadian ass somewhere. Uh, you Canadian? I don't know. I'm just going to assume. You play for Toronto. I don't mean he Canadian. But Canadian. Two people, three people fail in the last. Uh, that that's that's a bad look to me. I don't I don't like. I that. bet somebody said let him get his own bitch ass. Up. Even if look, he did look, hit you. Look, this is what happened. Mark Stay on your feet, down, bro. Right? What happened Mark right here? Down. Here come Fred. And the other one just tried to foul. Fred look, look come like. up and say, yeah, let him get his own ass up. I wouldn't be a, I wouldn't be a good loser either if I was in the NBA. I'd probably be the worst. Yeah, player. I hate losing. Yeah. I'll be the worst. I'll be talking shit immediately. Me and you will be jawing each other. <laughs> Bitch, I'm going to whoop your ass. And man. professionally ah! losing, too? That's a lot. Like, your whole career is a part of your losing? That's, oh, that's we would have to give those yeah, back. Yeah. Of course, interviews were like, well, actually, we're family. We enjoy each other's <laughs> company. But on the court, and no, sometimes they go there. Red eyes. All right, so it look like there's money owed, huh? Huh? Is there money owed? Go ahead and send it. We're going to stop yeah. this recording. Thank you for watching another episode. This has been You Will Lie. Please follow us on uh, Buzzsprout, all your Google uh, streaming, mm. the Google streaming podcast service. Mini That's going to be a thing. <laughs> <laughs> all your podcast streaming services. Go ahead and uh, go ahead and follow us. Apple iTunes, run it up. Share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Like reviews on iTunes. Give us the reviews. For those who didn't understand. YouTube. If, you like, if you like the content and you're watching on YouTube, go ahead, join the conversation below with the comment. Like, subscribe, get the notifications when we pop up with new material. Uh, you feel me? If you got any co- any comments on the topics you want us to talk about, you can hear them in the comments. You can send them to uli661 at gmail.com. We love to hear it. We ready to talk that shit. Good, man. We will get that. Other than that, man, I think we we got any retroactives out of this one? Any, uh, anything we got to be aware of? This game is very close, and I was just wondering, you know, <laughs> how we felt about it. Man, fuck this game. <laughs> Okay. Oh, it's not gonna, that close. Clippers should gonna, have that. We're just going to watch this game. Clippers going to win this game. Yeah, Clippers going to have this with no issue. Yeah. Yeah, I don't agree with it. What? You said, oh, okay. They, uh, they finna be, don't they have 12? Okay, so that will be it. This has been. You alive!